Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, developer of the Addiction-Free Pain Management System. Today I want to talk about a phenomenon known as the Addiction Pain Syndrome. Back in 1996, I wanted to find out what happened to people who were living with chronic pain and had coexisting addiction issues when they went in to seek help. At the time, I had access to a number of prominent libraries in the Bay Area, San Jose, Silicon Valley area, and I made use of those facilities. And unfortunately, after several weeks, I was getting very frustrated because I couldn't find anything published specifically on what I was looking for. What happened to people who were living with debilitating chronic pain, developed an addictive disorder, and was trying to get help for it. So I decided to do my own research. I started going out to a lot of the pain providers and pain clinics in Santa Clara County, was where I was living at the time, and then I expanded my search to Northern California. I also, at the same time, started visiting a lot of the addiction treatment programs and interviewing the clinical team. You know, it's amazing what happens is when people with an addictive disorder go into a pain clinic, they get to deal with one-third of their problem, their physiological chronic pain. If they go into an addiction treatment program, a different third of the problem gets dealt with, the addictive disorder. And unfortunately, in both cases, two-thirds of the problem doesn't get addressed. Now, I must say, in many cases, a lot of the programs, both pain and addiction, would refer their patients to the other discipline. And that was better. They were dealing with two-thirds of the problem. What I discovered, though, is when someone lives with chronic pain and has addiction or other mental health conditions, there's a synergism the effect. One plus one no longer equals two. It's three or better. And this synergistic effect is why I developed the addiction-free pain management system. It's a synergistic treatment system that has three core components. Medication management, finding the safest and most effective medication and medical protocols. The second one is dealing with the psychological and emotional components of the pain and the social interactions people have with other people. And the third piece I find the most exciting. It's helping them develop a proactive, non-medication-based treatment plan. When all of these play together, then there's a synergism that can address this system. Unfortunately, even today, in 2013, we still are not treating chronic pain effectively using integrated pain management, even though all the best practice standards call for it. In reality, many people, the best they're getting is usually medication management. And even that is starting to have problems. Because of the wide upsurge of prescribing opiates for pain, for especially chronic pain, there's been a backlash or a reaction. So now let's deal with all parts of the person, bio, psycho, social, spiritual, using a synergistic treatment system. If you want to learn more about the addiction pain syndrome and you're watching this video on YouTube, please go to the link below and go to my professional blog on my addiction-free pain management website. Send me feedback. Let me know what you think. And most importantly, if you know somebody or are working with somebody or you are somebody living with chronic pain and having medication management issues, you owe this to yourself and to the people that you care about. Freedom from suffering is everyone's right, but it's also a responsibility. Thanks.